let me explain why I couldn't pass up the chance to buy land here, on a tropical island, for less than the price of a car. This country is easily one of the most beautiful on our planet, surrounded by the largest living barrier reef on this globe and full of beautiful rainforest and jungle. It's home to the iconic Blue Hole. It's a super welcoming and safe country that speaks English. And it's only a two hour flight away from major American cities. But most of all, this is where I will soon be building my Caribbean home. Let me explain why I'm building a home here in Belize, what I'm planning to build and how much it costs. The American dream, or in my case, the Canadian dream, has always been to provide a safe and secure place for my family to live. My dream is to have a stable foundation for my future wife and kids, for mom and dad, and even Liam. And a big part of this safety net is having a home and owning the land that it sits on. But there's a problem. The American dream has never been more out of reach. Buying a home in Canada or in the US has become so expensive today that even the most hardworking of people are totally priced out. And I don't know about you, but getting a 30 year mortgage only to own a property at the very end of my life, that doesn't sound like a dream at all. But even if you do commit to a 10, 20 or 30 year mortgage, how much more can property go up in a place like Miami, Toronto, New York? The upward potential on that land is arguably rather limited. It's far from generational wealth. Now, on the other hand, if you buy into the international property market, there's still hidden gems out there. Places where you can invest smaller amounts of money and get significantly greater returns. Just the other day, I was in Dubai and I met somebody that bought one of the early homes on the Palm. Apparently, those were going for half a million dollars 20 years ago. Today, they're worth 20 million. If you had bought Tulum 10 years ago, $50,000 could have 10 x or even 20 x making you a millionaire. And in one of the property markets I know very well, Bali, if you had sunk 50 grand into some land just five years ago, you could have 10 x that and have a $500,000 lot. Of course, these are exceptional returns, but when you get in early on markets that are going upward, you rise with the tide. You can turn small sums of money into generational wealth. So over the last eight years or so, I've been traveling all around the world, going to the most beautiful destinations and visiting the up and coming places. And one thing that I've been trying to do is to find the Tulums, the Bali's or the Dubai's before they become mainstream, before everybody knows about them. And so about a year ago, I flew down to a country I had barely heard of. I landed here in Belize, thinking this would be just another trip to go and explore the world and see and experience new things. But what I never saw coming was that I was going to leave that trip seeing Belize as one of my new homes. It's happening. <laughs> After eight years, 85 plus countries, I found one of the most compelling investments I'd ever seen. I felt like I had a chance to buy Tulum before it was even discovered. But you might be wondering, why Belize? Because the truth is, it's not the easiest place I've ever traveled. In fact, it's not the most compelling travel destination I've seen to date. It's expensive, and the travel industry here is honestly a little behind. Places like Bali and Tulum are miles ahead in terms of restaurants, nightlife, basically everything. But you see, that's kind of where the opportunity lies. It's not about what's here today, it's about what's happening. But before I tell you about what's happening, let me just start off by saying Belize has one of the things that money can't buy, and that is a world-class location on this globe. About a year ago, a guy by the name of Will Mitchell sent me a DM and said, hey, come see Belize, I'll be your guide. If you don't know Will, he's created more content about Belize than anybody else. He's shown every single inch of this country, and so I figured there's probably not a better person to see it with. So I flew down to Belize City and he immediately picked me up. We got in this tiny plane and went down to our first destination, the rainforest. We stayed a night at this place called Copal Tree Lodge and I fell in love with the jungle of Belize. We saw the Mayan ruins. We visited a local distillery and I started to make a really good friend. The very next day, we loaded up and went to Belize City. And Belize City is kind of rough around the edges. From there, we caught a helicopter and that took us over the blue hole, one of the most beautiful sights of our planet. From there, another small plane and we were off to Ambergris K, the place that Will calls home and the place that I now call home too. Over the next few days, Will would show me the beauty of Belize because so much of it is actually not what's on land, but off of it. 
It is surrounded by beautiful blue water with some of the most rich and incredible reef I've ever seen. Free diving, spear fishing, scuba diving, it's all here and it doesn't get any better. Literally the other day I was out with Ruby, we were just swimming for fun, out with a spear gun and all of a sudden swims up next to me a massive manatee and his manatee cousin, Phil and Roger. That was so cool. We swam with manatees. When I was here last year, we went to Holchan. It was the most breathtaking and mind-blowing snorkel of my entire life. And just the other day, we went out, caught ourselves some fish, and put them right on our dish in just a matter of an hour. In a world where you don't always know what you're eating, I gotta say, nothing feels better than catching your own food. Now, Will isn't just a content creator here in Belize. He also brought the Remax franchise here. Today, he's got like 13 offices, 110 agents, and he is leading the charge in defining the future of what tourism and Belize is going to look like. Basically, Will has built the first premium community on the island of Ambergris, and he's building one of its next communities, and this is the project that I believe could redefine Belize as a tourism destination. Now, before I show you what I'm building, how much it's gonna cost, and where, I wanna tell you a little bit about Belize and why this is such an interesting investment from a foreigner's perspective. First of all, Belize has some of the most advantageous property rights of any country in the Caribbean, maybe even globally. The first thing that got me absolutely excited was that you can outright own property in your personal name. No matter what passport you hold, you can own that land and you can pass it on to your family. You can pass it down to your children, your grandchildren, and all that without any inheritance tax. This is far from common in the international property market and it's a huge bonus. The next thing is, Belize is a small country of just 400,000 people that speak English and it's gotten very little attention, but that's starting to change. With big names like Leonardo DiCaprio, Six Senses, Four Seasons now opening the massive island resort, and so many other big players coming to town, the word is starting to get out, but it hasn't fully yet. And that means that when you invest, you have a chance to have a rising tide. Land prices that start to rise as this destination becomes more known. Third is the affordable taxes. It's actually pretty mad. My lot, which I'll show you in a sec, is only gonna cost me 75 to $100 a year in property taxes. And if you're like me, looking at this as an investment, wanting to cash flow your property with rental income, well, the taxes are incredibly competitive which is kind of unheard of. The fourth is the proximity to major hubs. Right now, it shares a border with Mexico, Guatemala, and it's directly connected to major cities. And the way things are headed, that's just the start. And the fifth, I've already talked about, it's the world-class beauty of this country. Let me just first say, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid to share this, but I bought into this community. I believe in what's going on. So yes, I do have a vested interest in you coming here, especially because anytime I've met you guys through the channel, whether it be on my travels or randomly in passing, these have been people that I've just really gotten on with. This channel connects like-minded people. It brings amazing, talented, hardworking people all to the same place. And that's the kind of people I wanna rub shoulders with. I love being around you guys. In fact, in just the last two days, I've met a couple of you guys that have come here and bought lots. I met a hardworking entrepreneur by the name of Michael. At the age of 23, he came down here and bought a couple of lots. Well, congratulations on your new land. Thank you, brother. And just a couple hours ago, I got a message from Will to come downstairs. Hey! <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Christian, Gary. nice to see you, man. Hi, Hi. Nice Pleasure nice to, to meet you. you. Like, what are the odds? I'm literally upstairs <laughs> scripting this video. <laughs> I'm upstairs scripting a video and I'm like, yeah, Will's like, come down. I just texted him. I was like, you should come down here right now. There's some, <laughs> some of his viewers buying some lots right now. So, yeah. <laughs> so Gary and Antia just went from watching the videos to being in, in them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> listen, you gotta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't be wearing that right now in New York. No, uh, definitely absolutely not. So tell me like what drew you to Belize? My, my wife is real meticulous when, when it comes to like travel. Cause you know, we have, we have our own travel company as well. So. When she started looking about where we want to go, I, I said, baby, check out Belize. You should really check out Belize. She went down this rabbit hole, saw Will's videos, saw your video, and then she was like, hey, listen, I think this is where it is. Ultimately, we had been looking for some time to buy a place outside of New York, and Belize is right. Even being here now, there's a ton of construction everywhere, which is a great sign. It means yeah. places building, people are interested. Lots of good vibes here too, right? So if you're yeah. looking for something that feels like home, mm -hmm. safe. I haven't mm -hmm. felt unsafe at all. It's always a little bit scary thinking about purchasing in another country, yeah. but for some reason, this was, this was pretty easy. 
it's just getting in on the ground floor. I think that's, that's yeah. where we are, right? We're on the ground floor of things, mm -hmm. and I think if we could solidify something now, we see the tra trajectory. How close are their lots to my lot? <laughs> uh, I mean, they're in Habitat, so they're going to be within like... We're neighbors. A yeah. short, you guys yeah. are neighbors, yeah. 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 If you need salt, you let me know, all right? I got you, I yeah. got you. <laughs> Likewise, sugar, salt, whatever yeah. you want. I got you. Right. I know you're gonna have like slides and stuff, so I'm coming there for all the works. Uh, yeah, zip lines, slides. <laughs> we'll have a petting farm. <laughs> to Secret Cheers. Beach. Cheers. Congratulations. Congrats, guys. guys. Okay, I want to show you a couple of the projects so you can understand what the lay of the land is like, how much lots cost, and then and then I'll show you what I'm building. The first is Mahogany Bay. It's the first premium community of its kind in all of Belize. And what's happening here is pretty fascinating. Right now, this community is home to about 200 Hilton properties, and it's got about 100 completed and under construction privately owned homes. And each of these Mahogany Bay homes are actually right on the canal giving you direct access to go straight from your living room, straight from the office, all the way out to the ocean to catch sunset, to go fishing, and to be there in a matter of minutes. Pretty awesome. Now the standard lots here are 50 by 75, which is enough room to build a three to four bedroom home, and they start for around $185,000 with canal access. Now to build a premium three bedroom-esque home, you're probably looking at about $400,000 in build costs. Honestly, it's not cheap especially when compared to Bali. But where Belize makes up for its upfront higher costs in building, you get back in those property rights and low taxes, especially when you see how much per night properties are fetching. This luxury two bedroom Mahogany Bay property made about $90,000 last year, giving it a roughly six to seven year payback period. I like Mahogany Bay and I love the way things are headed, but it's not where I invested. Let me show you where I'm building my Caribbean home. Just a few years ago, this part of the island was considered inaccessible. Basically, there was no access roads. But despite being completely abandoned, it was one of the most beautiful places on the island. This is Secret Beach. It has beaches like this, water that looks like this. But best of all, it's a clean slate. And Will and the Remax team are leading the project in building out what is soon to be an incredible Tulum-worthy community. This isn't just redefining the island of Ambergris. This could redefine tourism in Belize. Having seen how popular destinations typically fail when the infrastructure can't keep up, if anyone's experienced traffic in Tulum, you know exactly what I mean. The good news is there is basically just a couple key players that have about 3,000 acres. And right now, they're building roads. There's a massive grid system that's coming in. There's a ton of foresight and vision. And the moment I saw the global plans of what's coming, I got really excited. The team is already building key infrastructure like landing strips so that people can land directly in Secret Beach. There are massive roadways so that you don't have the congestion problems of most popular destinations. They have waterfront access to some of the most pristine beaches in all of Belize. And they've already reserved key areas for beach clubs, restaurants, and other strategic businesses that will bring a lot of fun and jobs to the area. But here's where things got really exciting for me last year when I first saw it. That is that it's undiscovered. The roads are dirt, there's no electricity, and very few people know about it. And the lot prices reflect that. This is literally the kind of investment I've been looking for. A chance to invest at the ground floor and be part of the long-term growth of the area. So let's talk about how much it costs. The lots in Secret Beach are slightly larger at 60 by 75 feet. And get this, the price is $45,000. I don't know many down payments that even start at that point in the Western world. And that's for an asset that you own 100% and can hold on to for the rest of your life. And that's an investment that you keep as an heirloom to pass down to your family for generations to come. $45,000 is an amount of money that you gotta take seriously. It's still a big investment, but when I see all the risks and I see the possible returns, for me, this decision couldn't have been more exciting. I was so excited, I didn't stop at one lot, I actually got two. All right, let's pack up and I'm gonna give you a little tour of my lot and what I'm planning to build on it. Today, we're going out on a day trip, a little excursion to go check out the lot, heading to Secret Beach and just freshly opened up. Check this right here. One of my favorite restaurants in Tulum is Casa Banana and they actually brought over the head chef and the whole team, the owner, basically set up shop here in Mahogany Bay in Belize and this is one of their first establishments. We had dinner here for New Year's. It was so, so good. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome aboard, sir. Good to see you again. It's a formal shake. Give me a hand. 
And where are we going today, Will? We're heading over to the infamous Secret Beach. It should be a beautiful day. Right now, we're leaving from Mahogany Bay. When we go down Street 1 here, on the right-hand side, you're gonna see homes being built everywhere in the community right now between ongoing projects. Things are just about to kick off. About 100 houses here. So, it's moving. And here's the New Year's crew. Everyone came out from where? Canada? Pretty much everyone's from yeah. Canada. Canadians running from the snow. And yeah, we got an American. <laughs> I mean, we got a German. We forgot to. <laughs> Secret Beach right here. So we're stopping at uh, one of the potential sites for a future beach club. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean this is actually the best day to experience it because yeah. we have literally like one of the flattest days of the year. You can see Leonardo DiCaprio's island on the horizon over here and it's just clear waters. Leo. Leo who? I mean he's just, you know, it's kind of an actor. Is that the YouTuber? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. He's more of a TikToker actually. Yeah. Okay. He's famous for the one dance where it's like, yeah. The, so when I was here last year with Will, we actually had Toshi, who is this amazing sushi chef, and he came out here, sliced us up some of the freshest fish that was just caught that day, and it was served out here on a floating tray. So this is the start here of Secret Beach. So you can kind of imagine it, someday there will be a big pool here, day beds, there will be some boutique hotel right behind me here. And this is going to be the beautiful beachfront area where you can come, take a dip, enjoy some of the surrounding beauty of Belize. There's eagle rays, there's schools of fish, dolphins, basically any fish you've ever seen on Nat Geo, it's swimming out front right in front of you here. Everybody knows Australia has the largest Great Barrier Reef, but sadly, it's no longer the largest living barrier reef. Now that's Belize's title. And when you're out here, you feel that. Hey Ruben. Ruben, what do you think about manatees? He got stalked by two manatees when he went swimming about a year ago and he's still dealing with the trauma. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Christian, I tell you something in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell this guy anything without him saying it. God. Like, listen. And to end the day, a beautiful sunset right on the sandbar. Can't see it but there's a sandbar right below us there, just a couple feet deep. It's like infinite beauty everywhere you look, all around you. And right behind us there is where they're building a Sixth Sense resort, like an overwater bungalow, Maldives style. We push back the secret beach towards it today, but I think that was for everyone's best interest. It needed to happen. It needed to happen. <laughs> there's a big crew out here right now, and we yeah. had to entertain them, but this is the important part. This is the good part. After an amazing sunset on the sandbar, an amazing day at Secret Beach, we've now come about maybe a kilometer inland. This basically is the lifeline to the future of Ambergris K. This is going to be one of the main roads that head all the way in. This is where Will and the whole Remax team are basically developing out a future community. This is going to be something that I believe will one day rival Tulum. And if you're thinking it looks a lot like Tulum, it's because we're about a three hour drive away. It's really, really close to get there. And this is one of my plots. Will and I will give you a little tour of what the future is of this plot and how we're looking to come together to build something pretty epic. Yep. But first, a little athleticism is needed. What could go wrong? Oh, the singular. You made that look way easier. The land around here is flat. It's got this really beautiful kind of Yucatan style, low hanging bush, uh, lots of trees and brush. And my goal, similar to what I do with Las Villa in Bali, is going to be to keep an essence of that local landscape. You don't want to plow it down, you don't want to destroy it, you want to keep that beautiful greenery because that's the story of being in Belize. So, the moment of truth, what is it that we're going to be building right here? After a few months of talking with Will and going over designs, I've kind of narrowed it down to a few options. I believe that the sweet spot for me is gonna to be to build a three bedroom villa. The one that really caught my attention that Will and I had worked on with a very talented architect all the way in Tulum. Let me give you a tour of a potential lost property here in Belize. This home is three bedrooms. It's a Tulum style concrete home with a lot of warmth and a lot of personality. Starting with the outside, you've got a beautiful plunge pool, some sun beds, and heading inside, a really cozy living room. And you've got the master suite on the top 
top floor with that amazing view over Secret Beach. It's definitely not the cheapest place to build in the world. But in this area, there's been a lot of demand this year for rentals and there's been almost no inventory. Will was estimating that this kind of place would potentially get you $400 a night in the low season and in high season, it's anybody's guess. 600, 700, 800. When you have something that is simply non-existent in the area yet, you basically have a pretty good position to set price. Now this home would have a ton of privacy with a lot of leftover greenery and land because you could basically fit two of these on one lot. So you'd come back home, you'd have your private garden, and when you wanna go out on day trips, take the boat out, you're just a few hundred meters away from a beautiful pristine beach where you get out on the water, you can immediately go snorkeling, or you could take out a motorboat and go see the atolls. It's pretty remarkable being here, but I think the reason that I felt so emotionally attached to Belize was the people. Feeling like I have community here, like I just honestly haven't felt many other places in the world. Over the last few years, I have been building a business. I've been trying to build generational wealth, something that can allow my family to be successful, something that can allow hopefully my family's family to be successful. And as I've traveled, I've met so many people that have been successful purely by investing in the right place at the right time. People that invested in Tulum, Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Escondito, all these places across Mexico, early game and held on, they have created generational wealth. When I came here and I saw all these pieces basically coming together, I felt like this was my time to pull the trigger. Not to have a surefire way to make money, not to have a guarantee at anything. At the end of the day, it's an investment and I don't know what will happen. But when I saw all the things being built in the surrounding area, the right people leading the charge and the amazing opportunity of Belize, this was my time to take my shot at an investment that in five, 10, 20 years from now might just be my investment of a lifetime. On YouTube, I share my perspective, but I will never tell anybody how to use their money because at the end of the day, nobody can make that decision for anyone but you. But if this is something that you want to explore, if this is something you're curious to hear more about, I'll have a link down below where you can sign up to even just hear more about the price of the lots, the cost to get involved in different communities. Maybe you don't wanna be at ground zero, you want something that's a little bit more built up, but if you're somebody that is priced out of the American dream, somebody that isn't able to buy property in the hometown that you grew up in, but you know that it's something you would like to have in your portfolio, something you'd like to be able to hold on in your personal name. That's what makes Belize so interesting. I'm getting in at ground zero and I guess I'll keep you guys posted on how the investment goes, but most of all, how the construction goes. Because my goal here is to start this construction hopefully before 2025. But for now, it's time to sadly say goodbye to my beautiful jungle plot. Love to have you as a neighbor. And if you want to learn more about the project, this is Will's email address. You can shoot him a question, ask him whatever you want. This is his Instagram if you'd rather DM him. And lastly, his WhatsApp. Let's get lost again in the next one.